Dangerous. Hey everyone, Josh at Roxham here today. Just giving a quick video on how to flush your Suzuki engine after a day out in the water. Now with the newer engines these days, there is a couple of methods to do it. But today in this first video, we're gonna show the traditional method using a set of earmuffs or the flushing muffs, um, depending what you may like to call them. They're fairly standard. So we're just gonna give a quick tutorial on how these work and how easy it is to flush your engine uh, to clear all the salt water and any sand that you may have acquired through your day out in the water. Let's get into it. Now, if it's your first time using the inlet flusher or the earmuffs, it's very straightforward. We can see at the end of the, or the back of the engine there, there's a little inlet valve, which we can see right here. Now with that, we basically, there's one on each side. So we're gonna set the earmuffs over each of those inlet valves. This will allow the water to flush up into the engine and allow us to give it a good clean. So let's go ahead and do that before moving on to the next step. Very straightforward. We just reach around the engine and make sure those inlet valves are covered. Done. Now, I'll also put these in the comments, but there's a bit of a checklist that you wanna make sure before using the earmuffs for the very first time. One, make certain that your engine is off before installing. Two, slide the flusher cups from the front of the leg over the water inlets located above the lower gearbox. Three, attach the garden hose to the flusher and turn the water on to half pressure. Make sure water is flowing into water pickups. Five, shift motor control into neutral, stand clear of the propeller and start the engine. Only operate in neutral and never engage into gear. Seven, maximum engine running time using the flusher should not exceed five minutes. Eight, turn off the engine, then turn off the hose. Nine, ensure propeller is not rotating before flusher from the engine. Now, once our earmuffs are successfully on the back of the outboard, it's time to go and get our garden hose and connect to the hose connection at the back of the muffs. Now that the garden hose is connected to the earmuffs, we're gonna go and switch on our garden hose. And we're also gonna go and turn on the motor and leave it sitting in neutral, but powered on. So as we can see, now once it's connected successfully, you should start to see water flowing through the engine. successfully flushed our motor we can go ahead remove our garden hose from the connection remove the muffs and we're done now coming up in our next video what we're going to do we're going to go over a quick video and how to do a silent flush whereas if you live in an apartment complex or somewhere where you don't want to disturb your neighbors 
This is a great method for also flushing your engine without making any noise. Hit the link in the comments and we'll direct you to that video if that is of interest. See you in the next video. Bye.